I listen. You tell me what to do and where to go, so I listen. I thought that this was part of giving my all, giving my heart, and showing my love for you. I thought you were doing things for my best interest. You just want to love and protect me. You could see what I could not see. So I listen. You said being a woman is always about showing skin. I want to show that I have respect for my body and my relationship. So I listen. You said I was putting other people before you by hanging out. You said I was disrespecting you by not inviting you. You said I hurt you because you seen a number in my phone that I didn't tell you about, but I also was not hiding. You didn't believe me when I said it was just a church member. So I changed some things and did things differently. So I listened. You spoiled me with gifts and showered me with attention because I'm the one you love and want. I am all you need. So I believed you, heard you, and I listened. In the end, I found myself lost in the relationship. I didn't know myself anymore, and I was unhappy. I wanted to leave, and you became angry and beat me, so I obeyed. It wasn't love anymore, it was only fear. I fell prey of your controlling ways because I listened and obeyed. Okay, y'all, so as you know by the title, this video is called How to Make Him Value and Respect Me. Okay, so my poem that I just recited that you listened to, hopefully you listened to the whole thing and that's why you hear you didn't skip through it. Um, it's basically talking about, you know, men or even females being controlling in a relationship and being abusive. So I feel like a way to get him or even her to value and respect you is to not allow you know certain things to go on because whatever you allow that's what they will keep doing whether it's mental physical or even emotional abuse or even spiritual abuse if you allow it they'll keep doing it and they'll you will lose respect and self-love for yourself and they will do the same and of course if someone loves you they wouldn't be abusive towards you in any kind of way but you know some people that's part of their personality for whatever reason people are selfish um people don't care about nobody but themselves a lot of times even if they are in a relationship so i feel as though if you are that type of person why are you even in a relationship anyway but you know that's just how it is and normally we find out the hard way by being with that person for a while and then their true colors coming out because someone's true colors will always come out it will always come out for sure nobody can hide their true selves forever nobody can hide who they really are for forever they just can't because i mean if you if it's not really you it's going to show because we your true personality is going to come out what you're really thinking what you're really feeling what your thoughts really are um your imperfections it's going to show and but at the end of the day you have to respect and value yourself in order for him or her to value and respect you as well by not allowing certain things um by just how you carry yourself you know and having respect for yourself will um you know speak volumes on its own just by how you carry yourself you don't even necessarily have to say anything or do any well how you carry yourself is by doing but you won't even have to say anything but then once you speak that'll really show how you respect and value yourself and when it comes to abuse and you're you don't have no abuse way abusive ways or tendencies and you know this is all just that person because sometimes it can be both of y'all because two people can be toxic in a relationship it's not always just one person it can be both of y'all but if you know that you're not even toxic or even if you are still take a step back and look at yourself and reevaluate things whether it, you're a part of what's going on or even if you're not a part of what's going on and it's just him or just her you have to take time back and reevaluate things 
um, and get out. Even if you are a part of that toxic relationship and you're helping the um, the toxic stuff that's going on, you're a part of it. Whether you are or you ain't, y'all still need to get away because you're not good for each other at all. Y'all are not good for each other in no type of way. So, And that's not healthy mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually for you or him. It's not, it's not healthy, so it's just best to get out. And, you know, take time to learn what it is that you need so that you can truly love yourself. Give yourself some true self-love and TLC, that tender love and care that you truly need. Don't look for it in somebody else. You have to have it in yourself first. You must have it in yourself first. And then... You know, you can look for love in other places, but not to feel a void, but just to compliment you because you want somebody that can compliment you, who you are, your personality and your healthy self. That's why it's so good to take time for yourself because you want to be the best version of yourself, the healthiest version of yourself, because if you're not healthy mentally and emotionally, you will be toxic for the next person. And you will allow abuse or you will be the abuser. So take time to for some TLC and to love and take true care of yourself and be the healthiest version of yourself. Not just for yourself, but for your kids or your future kids or your future wife or husband. You really want to do that because... You Like I said, you can't expect someone to value and respect you when you don't even do that yourself. How can you expect the next, per next person to do it when you don't even do it yourself? If you're constantly disrespecting yourself, constantly allowing disrespect, why do you think him or her is going to respect you? Now, some people, when you're in a relationship and you're not truly valuing or respecting yourself, that doesn't mean that him or her would necessarily disrespect you just because you're disrespecting yourself. Um, whoever your partner is, they'll probably just leave you because they have lost respect for you because they don't value you or the relationship as much because of the because of your ways or what you're doing and your choices and decisions that don't necessarily mean they're going to go disrespect you but i'm pretty sure they will lose respect for you and not value the relationship anymore and then end up leaving you not everybody will go and disrespect you just because you're disrespecting yourself but that doesn't necessarily mean that they won't up and leave you or the relationship especially if they done tried and tried and had multiple conversations with you they done um tried to work things out with you you know you know really just be there for you and you're still not valuing yourself the relationship uh respecting um the relationship or him or her that you're with eventually they'll probably leave I'm pretty sure of it. And when you are dealing with abusive ways um, or just controlling ways, not just within yourself or if it's your partner that's like that with you, by you leaving shows that you are not tolerating it. It shows that you are not giving that person power over you. You are not tolerating anything. You're not giving that person power over you. You're not going to, you know, just sit there and take it. You're going to stand up for yourself. You are. That's showing a lot. That is really showing strength, especially if it's someone that you've been dealing with for a long time. Something, some, someone that you have really connected with. Someone that you saw a future with. Someone that you, y'all know how relationships go. And that truly so shows a lot of strength for you to just get up and leave and be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm fed up. I'm not dealing with this no more. You're, you don't really love me, and, and I'm pretty sure you don't love yourself to be treating me like that in someone that you so-called love. You really need to go find love for yourself and respect and really get some healing and work on yourself. Because a lot of people, they don't necessarily see their faults. Some people do see their faults and just don't care. Um, but I feel as though... <clears throat> If somebody wants to really be with you or even marry you or whatever the case is, they'll take the time out to really um, try to fix themselves and work on themselves. Everything is a process. Every, everything is a process. Everything takes time and everything is a process, whether it's something good or something bad. It all takes time and it's all a process. And at the end of the day, how I feel is you don't necessarily want to make your partner respect you. You don't necessarily want to know how to make him or her respect 
you because you want that person to love you so much that they do respect you they value you they value their relationship that they have with you you want them to do it not because they're forced but because they truly do love you but that does mean also that does not mean that you can't respect or value yourself like there's this person can your partner can respect you and value you but like i said if you don't respect or value yourself and you're just out here doing whatever to make them lose respect for you that's nobody's fault but your own so like i said i'm pretty sure they'll eventually end up leaving you but at the end of the day if somebody really loves you they will have a certain level of respect for you they will value you they will look at you as a prize as someone special and if it's something special to you you treat it like your baby um let's just say you just bought a new house some new shoes that you've been wanting a, a gucci purse you've been wanting or a lamborghini that you've been wanting um you bought your child or your uh, mom or just something they've been wanting so bad or even a ps5 or just whatever the case is when they get that possession they are going to treat it with care they're going to value what it is that they have, whether it's that car, those shoes, that purse, that um, game system. <clears throat> they're going to uh, treat it with respect and care, and they're going to take care of it the way they should. And all of that, they're not going to be just walking all over it, just running it into stuff, stamp, stomping on it, stuff like that. They're not going to do that. So that's just how it is with a person. If it's someone special to you, you're going to value it. You're going to treat that person the way they should be treated. You're not going to walk all over that person and just treat them like the scum of the earth or like a piece of, you know, poop or whatever. You know, you're going to do what you need to do to keep it. You're going to or keep that person. You're going to do what you need to do to keep that person around and keep them in your life and build them up. Because if you have, you know, a car or whatever that you have, you're going to take care of it so it can last longer. And that's what you're going to do with your relationship. You're going to take care of that person the way that you should so that y'all can last longer. But a lot of this stuff that I'm telling y'all, to me, it's common sense. What I'm telling y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all didn't heard before. Some of y'all probably done been through it. But sometimes it's good to hear it again especially if you are in this type of situation or you're just getting out of that type of situation it is good to hear it again so i'm glad that y'all came to my channel and took the time out to even watch my video so make sure you subscribe you comment anything down below that you feel you want or need and make sure you share my video and I hope that this video was very, very helpful. I hope that y'all like my poems because get used to them because I'm going to keep doing them. Because I have always been, I'm going to just keep doing them. Just know that. So, um, this is all that I have for another woman chat Wednesday. But yeah, so I will be back. I hope y'all like this video. And if you haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe comment and share this video like i already mother freaking said but um <laughs> i'll see y'all next time